Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. We are here today because of this guy. It's the Parrot AR drone. You've seen it before. Yes. We did some impromptu testing on our live show, but this is our full review, full testing. We are going to push it to its limits. Yeah, it's iPhone controlled, 300 bucks. It's really expensive. It flies itself and flies lovely. Let's see mm -hmm. how it works. All right, join us. First test is surfaces. How does it fly above grass? I tried it at home, kind of mixed results. Oh, it looks fine to me. Bring it higher. How's your control? Pretty good. Let's see how high it'll go. I'm not walking through it. That's it right there. So I think what's happening is it's losing like the sonar that tells it how high off the ground it is. It was much better than I thought it would be outside. Very light wind. I, it's about a five, five mile an hour intermittent yep. wind, it feels like. But still able to make in control and the soft landing, so it didn't, didn't break. Next, we, we've got it on concrete to see if it'll go higher when it doesn't have the sonar noise from the We know the grass. if it's on solid ground, it'll fly pretty well. Mm -hmm. Now we just want to see how high it'll go. Higher than 10 feet, what do you think? I think probably higher. We got a, wind seems to be picking up, so this is going to be exciting. Right, Let's fire it up, it up and dry it out. That's four feet. Maybe two. That's three. All right, we're close to 10. Oh, no. Wind, big gust. More pointed comparisons for height. This lamp. No. That's got to be 10 feet high. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, it's 12 feet. Chase me. That's more than 60 feet. Don't crash, don't crash. <laughs> Is it in the fountain? Oh man, that's a $300 mistake. Is it soaking or just damp? Just damp. Waterproof, oh, yeah. tested. So it's still in range, but I couldn't control it anymore. All right, let's measure the distance. So, 78 feet. I'm gonna try to go keep up with it and show you how a light jog can hit the, the pair arrow joints. Come on. No problem. And that's it. And we're back inside. Now inside is where most people who want to buy the AR drone are going to try to fly it. So what we've done is created a facsimile of a living room. This is our living room set. Now observe the blue border. I'm going to try to fly the AR drone around the living room without violating the sanctity of the blue border. Steve, intern Steve here, is going to go shoot uh, the iPod Touch so you can see what the AR drone actually can see. Let's give it a test. Oh my god. I think that's one wall crash. Oh God. So are you adjusting the altitude now, Norm, or is it doing I'm it I'm adjusting the altitude because, oh, that seems things like, was, like coffee tables whoa. screwed up and apparently it will not fly in a living room. Not when you have things like clothes hangers or coat hangers, coat hangers and um, and coffee tables. Yeah, I mean, this is what I had. This is the same problem I had at home, basically. I took it home to the living room, flying around, all sorts of obstacles, some throw rugs. It was up and down, left and right, and then all of us, every time, crashed. So, AR drone, not meant for the house. Not for the living room. Next, I'm going to see if the Parrot AR drone can be used to deliver important documents around the office. I am waiting for an important document, but who will deliver it to me? Oh, 
Jorm needs a whiteboard pen. I'm gonna see if I can use the Parade AR drone to take it to him. Boy, I could really use a whiteboard pen, but who will deliver it to me? If you need me, I'll be here untangling the ribbon from the Parade AR drone's death grip. Now we're about to do something really dumb. Boy, I could really use a cup of coffee, but who will deliver it to me? <laughs> up, up, damn you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say now. Boy, I really could use an Android figurine. But who will bring it to me? Okay, that was hard work. A lot of testing. A lot of testing. So, what are the conclusions? Um, well, here's the thing. It's kind of cool, but only if you have it's exactly... It's very cool. Well... When it works. But only if you have the right kind of environment for it. So, like downstairs, stairs in the whiskey basement, which is a large open area with admittedly a little bit low ceilings, but, you know, thin carpet, not a whole lot of noise, lots of places to zoom around. It's awesome. That's where it works. Yes. In uh, your home, living room, mm. small, 15 foot by yeah. 15 foot living room. It's not enough room. Not gonna, especially with furniture. Furniture, carpet, dogs, all of these things are bad with the Parrot AR drone. Outside, even the slightest of winds is gonna blow it well, into, into a, a fountain. fountain. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, range, um, not so impressive either. Well, 80 feet was pretty good. I was okay with that, but the height is the real, like I wanna well, go 80 feet straight up. Yeah. Not, you're not gonna do that. It was like 10, 12, 1, 1. 1.75 mega norms, I believe is the exact measurement. So, it's worth 300 bucks to you. Uh, and the worst part, the battery. Oh yeah, Even battery. Like 10 minutes of battery on a two hour well, I charge. I think we got 20 maybe once, but yeah. it's, it's battery life is gonna be a problem. It eats your iPhone battery at the same time. And these things are gonna have to be replaced because we've already gouged so this one easily. up pretty good. We had to tape ours up. These are 30 bucks yeah, a 30 pop. Bucks. And that's for the indoor use. Yeah. So, the 300 bucks worth it to you? Not so much. Fun to play with, yeah. fun to watch other people play with. Find a friend who has one. Yeah. yeah. We're your friends. Yeah. Bye. Bye. You just bought a fancy new hat for the Kentucky Derby.